Sorry, I did that wrong. That was the creation meeting I just told you about. The construct meeting actually is project specific. So if we have a major project going on, like Pacific Point Preserve, um, we will sit down and we will go over that project in detail, what's going on in that every two weeks. Um, Connect Point is where we get all of our leadership together, manager level on up to VPs. It's about 90 people. Uh, where we get together and it's 30 minutes of me talking about what's going on and 30 minutes of question and answer um, and sharing all of that. And then a communications meeting quarterly where we actually just might not entertain everybody. So um, next week is our communications meeting. They've got me doing all kinds of strange stuff all the time because they like to make fun of me. So next week I mentioned that we have the, um, uh, the Lumberjack show going on. So apparently I will be competing against one of the Alaskans on the Law of World competition. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jack from Alaska is going to win because I've never done it before. So, um, but I've performed in shows in front of our team members just for fun, just so they can see uh, doing things, but it's a, it's a lot of fun. We try to do everything in our communication like we do with all of our shows. We try to get your excitement level and your fun level up so that we can teach you something. That's what we do basically. So, with that, here's the agenda that we go through every week in our compass meetings. And so this is all the VPs and some of our directors. So every, every department discipline is here. We go over performance review each week, tactical education, and, and strategic planning and open discussion. This actual um, uh, agenda does not change week to week. Now we may not hit every topic on here, but it may not change every week. And so what you can see is core because we got rid of a, a meeting that was a core meeting and we covered all those three things. You can see craft, which is a communication meeting, we included it here. Um, so some things in here that uh, are So we go through the first five minutes of fun. So that's our, uh, that's the first thing we do in our meeting is to, again, get everybody's uh, excitement level up, have a little bit of fun before we get into the meat of the meeting. So uh, this is something we just we just shared last week, things that matter and things you can control. What you should focus on is right in the middle and it's a very small piece of what you do. Um, we also uh, uh, benchmark other other um, uh, facilities. So this was something that came out in Fast Company last week, is Virgin Hotels put in 24 new things in hotels that you won't see anywhere else that are very, very creative, very small, didn't cost them much. Um, but now they can actually charge a higher price than most hotels in Chicago because they put these little things in. So, I'm not going to go over that with you, but if you ever get a chance to go to this and look for this one, there's some pretty neat ideas in this hotel that you won't see anywhere else. So, uh, so that's Virgin Hotels. We'll go over our key performance indicators. So we'll talk about attendance. Are we above it? Are we above last year or below last year in attendance? I don't have any measurements on here. Or video <laughs> but it goes through the entire year, so we just got done with Wild Days. Aquatica opens this weekend, and then we go into spring break this weekend also. Uh, so you can see where Easter was, um, uh, where Easter is this year, our Just for Kids event, our Wine event, Memorial Day, Fourth of July, Labor Day, Wind Summer Nights is, House Cream, Christmas. So you can we can judge our attendance levels all throughout the year based on when the events are and how we're doing throughout the year. We also measure that against uh, our weather and, and other things. So other marketing plans. So that would be a performance, one performance review measure that we go through. We also go through forecasts for merchandise and culinary or financial review, um, uh, all kinds of things that go on that you see up here. We go through guest satisfaction scores. That's one we do every week because those are vitally important to us. If guests aren't happy, they're not spending money, they're not making them, they're not helping us reinvest in our company. So tactical execution, what needs to happen this week, next week, and the week after. So those types of things that happen uh, on a short standpoint. Process changes, communication, people, um, and then our care is our community event. So this is just one example. We go through every week. This is usually this is usually a blank sheet when we get into the meeting. What does marketing have to share? We go over that first and we type those things in. These are this is really note taking. What what did we miss or what could we have done better from the communication standpoint? What did people not get to hear about? Or we had a chili cook off and not everybody usually have like 12 teams joining the chili cook off. We have four this week. So something broke down in communication that we know we need to fix. What's going on the next 10 days? What do we need to make sure that gets out for our team members in the next 10 days? And also what's happening in the next 30 days so we can prepare for the next 10 days. So that's an example of what we would go through from a tactical execution, execution standpoint. Strategic planning, this is all of our major stuff. This is all the big stuff that's happening in the park. The new roller coasters, the new shows, the new rides, um, all the major projects that we have going on. So as an example, um, here's all of our events that we have going on. We go through this sheet and we go, okay, what's happening with um, with Just for Kids? Here's all the new ideas that we've come up with. So I'm actually giving you guys kind of a hint into what's coming up in April, um, as well as, as May. So all these things will be happening in April for Just for Kids. You've got food and wine, and you've got all the screen we may or may not do in the magical city, and may or may not do a new show for Christmas. You guys, this, this changes pretty frequently, so you'll have to see us 
and be able to do. This also allows us to go through our five-year plan of what we have from a major capital standpoint. So I don't know if we have anything up there that's saying. So you can see is it's light on the top. <coughs> We're definitely doing it. The darker it gets, the more value it gets um, because those are five, six, and seven years out. Um, but what you can see is we go through our major capital projects, whether we're putting something into Aquatica, or we're putting in a shell, or we just got a new attraction that's going on. Red things are things that have changed since the last time we've looked at it. And then you can see events, how much we're investing there, our revenue, merchandise and culinary areas, what we're investing in those places. Infrastructure capital, that's repairs for boilers, and, and um, uh, ozone machines, and uh, air conditioning systems, and all the maintenance things. And then sundry is really our smaller capital projects that we have to do throughout the throughout the year. So you can see all of our investment. Um, one thing that we do have is um, a 20-year plan kickoff in May 11th. We actually go through about every four or five years building a 20-year plan for our park. And it's not to say what are we going to do for the next 20 years. It's, gonna pro it's going to be at the end, we hope to prioritize the next thing that we have to do and the thing after that that we have to do. So it helps us build our five-year plan. Um, so we're going through that. Uh, with that, one of our focal points right now is um, uh, we've all read the book Advantage. We started this last year. We're going to continue on with this year. So if you haven't read this book, it's a great book to read um, from a leadership and organizational health standpoint. Um, and all it is is about communication and clarity and over communicating and then following the circle of making sure that you have a good cohesive team. So with that, um, two more slides or two or three. Um, so somebody asked me a frequent question that I get is, well, what, what do you do on a daily basis? And it really changes every day. Sometimes I'm out in the park for 10 hours. Sometimes I'm in the office for more than I'd like to be. Um, sometimes I'm not even at the park doing things. And so I kind of broke it down these ways. I provide direction, so I go over key performance indicators, I go over the competition, trends, go over, I know exactly what Tim's doing at the zoo and what Six Flags is doing on a daily basis. And he knows what we're doing too. It's focusing on competition is really, really important. Trends that are going in the market. I mean, you know, t-shirts change every year because fashion trends change every year. You know, those types of things. Team member feedback is vitally important. Um, setting strategies, driving culture. So that's kind of directional what I do. The next thing I do is support. And one of the most important jobs that I have is supporting our team members. Um, I'm kind of the bottom of the pyramid. I try to make everything, uh, provide all the resources I can for everybody, make the job fun, uh, make it exciting, uh, get people engaged in, in what they're doing, and make sure that we do that. So team feedback, communication, visibility, providing tools and resources, communicating, having fun, because we are in a fun business. So making sure that we have a lot of fun is, is vitally important. Um, the outreach piece um, is about 30% of my job. These things are about even 33, 33, 33, in that I am out in the industry. I'm kind of um, not, the, not the face on TV, if you will, because we have people to do that. We have people to do our commercials, and we have people to get on our TV stations to do that. But be the face of the park to the rest of the community, to legislators, to um, for, for our TTIA organization. Um, for all kinds of things, and going over what's going on in the industry, uh, community, education-wise, what's happening, uh, working on our brand and our reputation and making sure those things are solid, uh, talking about conservation and talking about rescue, rehab, and release, just like we're doing right here and, and doing this. So, um, With that, there's a lot of organizations that I work with and participate in. Um, TTIA is probably the biggest on this piece because uh, the Texas Travel Industry Association is probably where I get the most value out of what I do. I'm not saying that just because Jim's here. I'd be saying it anyways. Um, we work with legislators on a day in and day out basis to make sure that the right laws are being passed, the right things are happening, um, and the wrong laws aren't being passed, um, like more taxes and those types of things to our industry. So um, working on water type things, um, all that stuff. So with that, that's all I had um, to present, and I did it in 33 minutes. I was a longer than I expected to be. A little slow. How long did we start with time? Uh, we were a little. We're three minutes late, right? We started three minutes late. So perfect. Three minutes late. Right. Great. Um, so with that, um, so questions. So I'll answer um, at least one question I know somebody's going to ask because it happens every time and then I'll get to the questions you get. Internships. So yes, we have internships. I know people are going to ask that because I've asked that every time I've gone to the university. Um, we do do internships in just about every department that we have. We tend to do internships where you come to us. We don't go after you. So if you've got an idea for an internship, something that you want to study, something that you want to talk about, um, send us an email. Let, me, let us know. We'll put you in touch with the right person and see if it's a, a match that we can make. So if it's in human resources or finance or design and engineering, for those of you that are uh, uh, engineering students, um, those types of things, we'll try and match you up. Now, um, we get a fair amount of requests, so we can't match everybody yet, but we'll try. We'll, we'll work towards that. Um, but certainly, we have the opportunity. 
So 